Hello and welcome to another video from Delaware Rail. In this video, we're going to show you how to create concrete walls um, using nothing more than some uh, popsicle sticks here and some wood glue and some poly filler. So um, this is actually a pretty lengthy process. Um, it doesn't take very long to actually create the wall but there's some steps involved with uh, some glue that takes a while to set. So what we've done here is we've got this section of wall between two bridges and we're going to create a small you know, two foot high or so wall. So we're going to use about three or four popsicle sticks and I'm going to stack them on top of each other. So um, the first step is to basically line it up and figure out where you want it to go. Uh, make sure if you're putting it up beside the track like we are here that you give enough room for clearance as well as for signals or anything else you might want to put between the wall and the track. So um, once you have it lined up like this um, you basically just uh, glue the first layer um, by running some wood glue along the bottom of them and sticking them up to the baseboard and then letting it set. So we're going to go do that and then um, We'll show you how the first set looks in about 24 hours from now. And then we'll um, add a second layer on top of it, and then a third. And then um, we'll show you the step with the uh, with the polyfiller. So um, we're going to leave that like that for now. And uh, we'll pick this video up in a few days. Okay, so it's uh, been a couple of days. Um, basically, uh, you can see here, um, we've got a wall that's about six popsicle sticks or five popsicle sticks high. Um, what I did was um, I basically glued these um, one at a time and just let them sit for a while. So um, I come down here, you know, glue this, go do something else, and then uh, come back and glue it some more. So it's taken about two or three days to actually glue each of these into place. But um, you can also see I've been doing some ballasting here, but um, you can see that the wall has actually come um, together pretty nicely. And so um, what we're going to do next is, uh, it doesn't matter if there's just some excess glue there, but what we're going to do next is we're going to cover this with um, poly filler. Now um, I'm here in the States, so um, it's probably not exactly the same stuff, but um, at Walmart, I was able to pick up this uh, all-purpose uh, joint compound and um, it should adhere to uh, to wood or plasterboard or, or jimson board so uh, we're gonna go and attempt to uh, coat this wall with this and hopefully we'll get some good results so I'm gonna um, test this out and then uh, we'll we'll show you how it works okay so I found actually plastered a good two-thirds of this so we're going to just go show you how we're applying it and here you can see the tub and the um, popsicle stick here and it's quite simple you just take a glob of it and um, basically just work it in there on the um, on the top and then Work some of it in on the side, you don't have to be too precise. Um, luckily this stuff doesn't dry very quickly, so... And since we're looking for this kind of old stone concrete wall look, it doesn't really need to be too smooth or anything like that. You can see there, we just want to smooth that over. Like so. I'm going to try to do this using the camera, it's a little trickier. But basically, um, like so. I'm just taking our glob over here. And work it in the back. And 
And then once you feel you've got it pretty well covered, um, you just run it along the top like so, and then along the sides. And you just basically um, just clean it up, just keep um, thinning it in a little bit, pushing it up until it looks um, pretty smooth. And then what's going to happen is this is going to dry, and then um, what we're going to do is once it dries, uh, we're going to go ahead and basically paint it. And so these joints here in between the, the groups of popsicle sticks uh, typically need a bit more as the um, popsicle sticks a bit of a hole there That's uh, pretty much it. So as you can see there, um, this stuff here where it's kind of overflown a bit, um, it's going to dry out or I'll take the popsicle stick here and, and clean this up a little bit. But even if it dries out, you can just um, cut it with a knife and then chip off the bits that you don't need. Um, but once it takes about, I don't know, probably about 12, 24 hours to uh, to dry properly. And then now, um, once the, the whole wall is dry, you're you're pretty much good to go to, to paint it. So um, we'll give you a quick look here at what we've done. So you can see here, the um, this is what it was before, uh, the popsicle sticks, and then you can see there, it's got a kind of a wall look to it now. Now obviously it's um, it's way too white so um, once this is done drying we'll go and paint it and you should be able to see the uh, full effect. And here you can see the uh, final product up close. Um, you can see I repainted the wall gray after um, after spackling it with the uh, polyfiller um, or joint compound as it here in the states I also painted the area between the wall and the edge here brown we're gonna go ahead and um, this made this look like dirt I'm gonna put some static grass probably and some um, clump foliage maybe some green turf there just so it uh, looks more like um, the grassy area you can see there that it, even the uh, cracks that sometimes occur with the polyfiller actually give some character to the wall now I've still got a couple of things I'm going to do to this wall um, I need to dull it a little bit, it's still a little too bright um, it needs to kind of be weathered so um, we're going to do a couple of things including adding some moss and some other stuff to it and hopefully you'll see that progress over the coming weeks but um, Hopefully this is enough to give you a starting point on how to build the wall. And it was actually pretty cheap to build. Um, used about a quarter of a pack of, hundred pack of uh, lollipop sticks there. Or popsicle sticks as they're called here in the States. Um, and so that was about a dollar. Um, the paint we used uh, two small tins of paint. So um, this cost about a dollar fifty nine each. So um, we're up to about about four dollars or so. And then the, the big huge container of polyfiller cost uh, about three dollars. So all in all, um, about about seven dollars to build a wall. But keep in mind, I still have about ninety nine percent of the polyfiller left, about quarter of the paint left, and probably about seventy or so popsicle sticks left. So I could definitely um, do some more stuff with that. And so the next thing we're going to do is uh, ballast in there, but at least gives you an idea of how the wall will look with this particular method. And 
that will get covered up there the white stuff with the um, with the ballast. And here's just an idea of what we're going to use to uh, actually finish off the um, the grass area on the outside of the uh, wall. We get some uh, woodland scenics. Uh, fine turf, uh, earth weeds, and we also have a bag here of the, the grass, we use some woodland scenic scenic cement, and some rock debris. Um, I also have some static grass, which I may or may not use. Um, I'm going to see how this looks with with just these first, and then we'll, we'll go from there. And here we have the end product. Uh, basically, after I uh, painted the wall here, uh, which is basically made of popsicle sticks and uh, some polyfiller, which is painted them with uh, just gray and uh, flat gray. Um, on the outside, I painted the um, the board baseboard brown uh, to give that kind of turf effect, and then I applied some scenic cement and uh, on sprinkled basically the uh, fine turf earth tones and the fine turf um, weeds and grass, and then I finally applied some scenic cement with a dropper um, over the top of that along with some um, of these uh, woodland scenics um, kind of just uh, rocks or stuff that they have and then um, to do this grass here I took the uh, field grass and basically cut it into about one and a half to two centimeter strips uh, just little clumps of it and then just uh, kind of rolled it around in, in between your, your thumb and your index finger and then just uh, while the scenic cement is still wet just, just dip it in there and it, it seems to spread out pretty well and as you can see there I added some some rock and some grass to the top of the wall as well just to give that effect that maybe part of the wall was actually falling apart and you can see that it turned out pretty well now this section of the wall I still have to do but you can see there the uh, the difference that it makes and then this section here is finished as well it's uh, starting to dry this is where I was uh, testing the grass but as you can see uh, even my first attempt turned out pretty well so I'm uh, quite happy with it you can see here the first couple of attempts I did the grass was a little bit longer um, this here is probably a little bit too long and uh, what you're looking for is something like that which turns out pretty well and like I said you just dip it into the um, into the kind of fine turf scenic cement mix and um, it sits in there pretty well and spreads out pretty easily uh, just make sure your fingers aren't too sticky or it gets a little tricky and um, hopefully when this dries, it'll stay in place and uh, we'll be in business.